Here I did Graveyard Keeper, and I got through that game. And that game was okay. Um, what I understand, this is a very popular game, and I think the latest patch had multiplayer in it, so... Oh, right here, as you can see, it's co-op. But that said, let's uh, begin. This first part is just going to be a solo run. Okay, so... Myself. Let's see here, which we call... Oh, before I get too far ahead of myself here, um... There are several uh, lands you can choose from, but for the sake of uh, but for the sake of the stream, we're just gonna do standard. Combatia. I guess there's something you can get if you choose favorite thing. If you choose Concerned Ava's favorite thing. And speaking of which, here it looks like looks like it was just programmed by just one person here. So, Eric Barron. Work. Yeah. Lots of shoes from as far as hairstyles go. But, just for the sake of everything, we're just going to leave everything as default here, with the exception of the shirt and the hair. Alright, so the plot begins. And if you choose a female, it's a very special granddaughter. years later. That's kind of annoying. Where a game doesn't say how many years later, it just says XX. But then again, I'm guessing it's supposed to be uh, up to your imagination. A little skeleton. <laughs> Say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? So basically, that's the plot right there. You've inherited the farm, and now you have to make something out of it.
you must be Kenjamin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis said. Yeah, thanks for leaving me a, uh... Quite a place here, uh, Grandpa. This is Ken Betty a farm. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. Is mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. Really? Hmm, huh, like who? It's not every day that someone moves, new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Oh, I bet. Okay, in all fairness, it is something that uh, if a new neighbor moves into town. But to make a big deal out of it? I don't know. I have a funny feeling these people don't get out all that much. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. Good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! Don't listen to her, Kenjamin. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Hmm. Uh, fun fact, you will have to upgrade the house at some point. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Good point. The townspeople would appreciate that. <clears throat> Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Oh, I bet you will collect it during the night. Yeah. Okay, let me just stop you for a second and just say this. If anybody says this to you, get suspicious about their behavior. Because there's more to this than meets the eye. Because, I mean, that's just a that whole sentence right there. Actually, the whole... Whole dialogue right there. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Right. Right. I'm sure you will. Well, good luck. Gold. We're right here. Parsnip seeds. Alright. Here, see 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Aw, how nice. Listen up. Wait, to take this other thing literally. 
This one's for all you green farmers out there. Chop wood and search for wild forest to earn some cash while winning on your first harvest. Yeah. Thanks for the advice. Cool. Got this house plant. Alright, let's head outside. Four days to mature. Just stones. All right, so, well, taking the mayor's advice. We may harvest some parsnip. All right. Okay, so we've only met two people so far: the mayor and Robin. Yet. Information cast here. Ah, oh, it's just a calendar. All right. Of uh, important events. Well, today's Sunday, so you should be open. Okay, so we'll have to wait a little bit. Okay, so we have to wait a little bit. How's it going, dude? I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Wow. Thanks a lot, Mayor. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself to people? Uh, hi. Okay. This is one of the game mechanics right here. If you've ever played Harvest Moon, it's exactly like this. Oh, did you want something? I'm trying to introduce myself here. For God's... Jesus Christ. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Oh, hey. So you're the new guy, huh? Cool. Okay, everything should be opened up now. Oh, grave site. Don't read the epitaph. It's old and faded. Our beloved Mona. Okay, I don't know what that means. sitting there. Hey, let's go to the saloon. Or the uh, general store, excuse me. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marty. Oh, okay, we already met. This is Pierre. Um... as of right now, so let's go to the back room. Alter Yoba. Probably play a role a little bit later on in the game. Hello, you must be Kenjamin, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. I heard someone who was moving to that old farm. Okay, as I was referring to earlier, if you're the guy, you're gonna try to woo the women. It's a mechanic first found in Harvest Moon, where you basically find a bachelorette, try to win her over, and you end up getting married. What's this? Oh, 
this? I mean, for sale? Okay, I don't have enough space right now, so... Let's go to the doctor's office. Okay, this is just if we need medicine, but we don't need any right now. Okay, so there's 19 people. Because that opens up a new one. Okay, that's, I think, a mechanic not found in Harvest Moon where you can divorce someone? Traditional tea setting. The mayor must be pretty serious about tea. So cliche. Let's see what's south of here. Ah, the beach. I wonder if you can clean the beach up. Oyster. Not something that filters water to find food. In the past, it removes dangerous toxins from the environment. Huh. sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Awfully dressed up nicely to live in a cabin by the beach. Hmm. This could be fixed. Okay, that's something we we'll have to take into consideration later. I think there's... Oh yeah, I gotta go to the saloon. Can I go in here? Oh, that's the mayor's residence. Never mind. Moving on. Oh, this is... Oh, this is one of those twin stick shooters. One does direction, one does shooting. Basically, we got a game within a game. Nothing. 
There's probably an item that'll unlock that cabinet, but for right now, let's move on. Back room. There's a jukebox. Occupied with something. Oh, are you the one who just moved in? I'm Myra. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Another potential bachelorette. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Huh. <sighs> Real question is. Who do I find the cutest? Um, you know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. That's true. George. <laughs> it's Harry Jane Head. You meet all these new people. Huh? Name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. Okay, then. Okay, so that's another potential uh, candidate if you're playing a female. Alright. There's a convenience store. Or rather, another convenience store. Welcome to Jojamart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we met. I'm Morris, Georgia Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you, you want to become a Georgia member, I'll be delighted to make your transition a joyous experience. Pam. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. Wow. That's just a vendor. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Okay. and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Sure. I can't interact with the telescope? Darn. Let's see what the sign 
says. Railroad. Alright, um, it is getting late, so I am going to head back to my house. about it. Should I get back to the saloon once more? There we go. Er, hi, I'm Clint. Are you sure he's hard at work enough? Drink into his heart's content. Oh, there's somebody new. There's Emily. Oh, the picking reading on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. Looking for something to do in the evening. Stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Okay. I'm gonna say, just for the record, I like Emily the most. At this point. Now, later in the game, you can buy gifts for these women, and you have to be careful with what you give to who, because some women will like one item, but another will hate it. And that's going to be quite a task. So, how many people have I met so far? 17. Alright, um, like I said, I'm just going to head back to my place and catch some Z's. Interesting. The heart thing goes goes in the opposite direction here, huh? There's the map. Oh no! Wait, hang on. Back. Okay, so it looks like you had to line it up just right. All right. Oh, looks like I got some mail. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. Could you come back? Could you come down to the beach sometime? I've got something for you, Willie. Okay, I'll go there. Squirrel. Bummer, man. Alright, time to go to the beach. Wait, it's kind of strange here that, uh... This house is open at a very specific time. Whatever. Funny. Uh, I guess 
doesn't want to come out. Oh well. Good to finally meet you. Ah, I'm still trying to unlock from the mud. Out now in the salty seas. It was a big hole. I sold a lot of good fish. Big thing to keep in mind. Catch a lot of fish. You can make a pretty good profit doing it that way. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Speaking of which... Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. Hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. I wonder if I can sell fish, too. You received a bamboo pole. Okay, now I have to get rid of an item for it. Um, this is the uh, oyster shell. Perfect. Good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now. So come by. Need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. It's just bad. That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Let's try fishing here. I think I gotta reel in a little bit further out. There we go. You might need bait, I'm not sure. Plenty of time to fish. Just, uh, right now, because I'm gonna have to wait for another few more moments, and I wouldn't get much. Ooh, damn, shell. Ah, the door's full. Darn it. So, how many people have I met so far? Eighteen. All right. Stranger Danger? There's Jody. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. What? Report card Vincent. Reading C. Spelling B. Mad C. Social studies B. Art B. Minus Forte. No, Vince is a good boy, but he should make do with a little more studying. Penny. My guess is Penny is the teacher. That's my guess. Oh, another uh, local. Hmm. See, there's more people uh, looming about now. Oh, what's this? 
Demetrius here. Could someone please bring me carp? I'm saying I was wrong with biological research. 91. Okay, so we gotta keep an eye out for carp. It's Farmer Kenjamin. What is with everybody knowing who I am? I mean, he just moved into town two days ago, and everybody knows who I am? That's a little awkward. I've seen wild horseradish in the forest. Hmm. So keep in mind. There's Abigail. Now the girl I want to try to woo is Emily, the girl who works the saloon. I like her the most so far. Oh, another uh, local. Hey, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Uh, sure. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farm around could really change things. Hmm. I work part time at Gus's Saloon. It pays the bills. Alright, I think. Met everybody at this point. Let's uh, get to White Gunna. I'm cleaning up this place here.
I wonder if the rotation of crops is what applies to this game. Like how you're supposed to rotate your crops every year. I wonder if that mechanic is implemented in this game as well. Okay, it looks like I'm just about out of energy. And I need to get 300. I'm starting to feel exhausted. There we go. Perfect. Alright. I think this would be a good time to rest up. There we go. Alright. Alright, got 13 hours of sleep. And now it's raining. And ooh, I got some mail. Now what? Advertisement. I'll keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's general store today and check out our affordable 24 backpack. See you soon. Yeah, unfortunately, uh. Yeah, unfortunately, Pierre, I just don't have the funds right now. Because I believe the backpack is pretty pricey. Oh, I found some more seeds. Alright, let's get rid of the sap. <laughs> Get rid of the sap. The geodes I'm gonna hang on to. Perfect. Excellent. Although I found it kind of silly that I would do such a thing. Seeds. See if I can start cracking stuff. Okay, looks like I can build a couple things here. Okay, it looks like I can't do anything as of right now because I don't have much to work with. Hmm. So this is the weather. I wonder what these two represent. Oh, okay, so today is Wednesday. Yeah, thanks for sending me the mail, dude. I was looking forward to getting a 24-size uh, uh, backpack. Thanks a lot. Of course, the sewer will be locked. Okay, perfect. Now we got the trout soup. You know what? 
I think now would be a good time to go fishing because it's raining. I think throughout the course of the game you'll get better rides. And oh, what do we have here? How's it going, dude? Oh, Sebastian. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. over here. Hmm. I wonder if I can clean up the beach a little bit. Boy, there's a lot of junk lying around. Sounds like you're hungry. I need to find where the blacksmith's at. So that uh cranky dude is at.
fish. Oh, broken glasses. I wonder if I can sell it. The irony in this is that, uh, despite the fact that I'm not catching fish, at least I'm cleaning up the water. <laughs> so I guess that's good for something, I suppose? Person, have I? This is not good weather for sports. Sure it isn't. Hey, stop that! Yuck! At the very least, I put it in the trash. There's Pamela again. How the kids staying dry? Uh, what do you think? Okay, this is one of the gift items in the game. And you can give it to one of the girls. And she'll either love it, or she'll hate it, or she'll have mixed feelings about it. But my main goal is to try to woo Emily. Because I like her the most. Now whether she likes the daffodils or not, I don't know. But I do know... That one of the girls loves gems. I don't remember who. Better be Willie. It's such a stereotypical name. Okay, there she is. Alright. <clears throat> I've heard rumors of rare and powerful magic rings forged long ago by forgotten civilizations. I'm not sure if it's just true or just a fairy tale. I'm willing to bet she liked it. Hmm. Anyways. I'm willing to bet, since there was a green X, I'm willing to bet she liked it. So that's a good start. I guess. And it looks like every time you get two gifts, the heart level goes up one. Not positive. Ooh, playground. I want to play on the playground. And you can't interact with this stuff? That's lame. I don't know what these are right here. Hmm. Okay, looks like I can't harvest stuff right there. Might as well head back to home because my job here is done for the day. day with the turnips. And I think for today we're just going to concentrate on cleaning up the yard.
got to be careful around your plants. I think... Yeah, stepping on them damages them. Okay, there we go. Okay, it looks like I gotta be ahead of the game. Okay, so I built a cobblestone path to my house. Very nice. Jojar, Jojamar customers, our team members have removed the last light from by drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Here's one to in it. L61091, Jojakoa Amendment. 
responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for this next and as always. We value continued support and patronage. Morris. Okay. I wonder if I can harvest this stuff now. Now that. Weird. Anywho. stuff in the game here. And I don't want to sell it. But what I want to do is create a fireplace. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have any stone or wood. Alright. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'll make a profit off of this. Alright, let's... Alright, I would like to harvest. Well, there goes that. I gotta wait one more day. Because I did plant them on day two. <clears throat> I thought I destroyed one of my... I thought I destroyed one of my own, uh... One of my own, uh, parsnips. Like I said, I think at some point you get to upgrade your fishing pole. Not bad, not bad.
Aww. Darn it. I was really hoping I'd get the treasure. But I wonder... It only applies... When both the fish and the treasure are, at, are inside the green box and at the bottom bowl. Like right there. Oh, nice. Got it. Hopefully, there's something of value. Like I said, I think these more difficult fish are probably the more valuable fish. It's raining outside. Well, okay, I do admit, I like the rain too. No, I just realized it's Friday. Really, you think? Okay, let's... Hmm. You're supposed to have something. You're supposed to have a 24 pack thing, unless that deal expired. if Emily likes tulips, because strangely enough, I gave her a daffodil and she seems to like that. Huh. A weed. That is a good gift. Hmm. That, that seemed a little strange, in my opinion. Anyways, we can do a little more work around here.
right, there we go. So it is a legit four days. Oh, my inventory's full. Darn it. Well, we're gonna put trash in the trash. Like I said, I might not be catching fish, but at least I'm cleaning up the water. Ugh. It's really slimy. Well, anyways. Let's 
go to town and sell my uh, parsnips. In real life, uh, if you want to make a profit, you're gonna have to uh, get your hands dirty. office. Let's go plant some potatoes. Field at this point. Why? Nice. 
blocks the way to my house. Oh. Okay, it's kind of a pathetic fence, but I can't. And I need to get 300 pieces of wood so I can fix the bridge. Well, it's about time. So now we're in the first week of spring in Stardew Valley. gate I built. Boy, she looks really, uh, enthusiastic. She's bored out of her mind.
that, really. There's some fish over here. Oh, there's the car, finally, but the offer lapsed. And now I understand the fishing mechanic a little bit better now. Oh, we have over here. Find it. Someone was throwing drugs in my tent like that. I just had to wait it out. Oh, really? I wonder who these, uh... Oh, that was the mine, but we can't go in there yet because we... Adventurer's Guild. Okay, I thought that was the blacksmith. Nope! Let's another section of Stardew Valley. We have yet to explore, but I can't at this moment. But I can always sell the uh, car for a little profit. How many 
have you like left? Four. Hmm. Railroad's in the north, but it's blocked. Ah, the back door to my place. Oh, very nice. What's this? Whatever this one was, it's now in ruins. I wonder if I can destroy it. Fish. Willy. I really want that 24 slot uh, backpack in the worst way. But I have yet to find the blacksmith. Fishing rod, you'll be able to attach bait and tackle to them. But back to the Alright, so yeah. At some point, we'll be able to upgrade the rod. But for right now, it's just as is. Do you have anything new to say? Hey, you, get over here. Hey, so I picked up parsnip at the store last night. My mom wanted something good for dinner. I can't imagine what parsnips would taste like. Then again, I've never had a parsnip.
I am still there. Not bad, 37. Pieces I'll take. Oh, 
That's where I fish. I'm actually fishing a little bit closer to the shore. Sure. Use a little extra energy. Okay, this might make fishing a little bit easier. Let's we'll see. Oh yeah, I'm gonna fish closer to the shore. This is over from the beach. But at 40 gold pieces, I guess that's not too bad. That little sardine gave me more. Anyways, let's just gonna keep fishing for a while. I mean, I technically could go back to the farm and uh, clean up. CD. It's a Jojana 2.0 trial CD. They must have made billions of these things. Alright. You know, Pelican Town, I'm doing you a huge favor by cleaning out all this uh, junk from your uh, water systems. Myself, but I really feel at home. Like I said, I think this dude has got a little bit of an identity crisis. He's dressed like a millionaire, and yet he lives in a beach shack. Maybe he's a, maybe he's a wealthy uh, entrepreneur who wants to live a private life. I don't know. It's not my job to judge uh, 
of those. This reset. Does this. Does the gift thing reset? So basically, if I don't give Emily two gifts, it resets? Wow. Huh. And this doesn't apply to Emily, it applies to everybody else as well. Wow. Alright, half a second too late. Well, I'll have to save it for tomorrow then, I guess. I suppose. that would, uh, work for exhaustion. Hmm. That just does seem a little esoteric. Alright. Let's go here. Night, night. Oh, very nice. So, I wonder what that means. I think I lost one of my tulips. Not cool. Oh, gosh darn it. I lost one. Alright. Oh, I'm waiting for the stores to open up. Let's just continue working on uh, the farm here a little. Yeah, I can turn it down for you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoops. You know, that is just so weird. You know, I might as well just turn on all the volume down as well. There we go. You know, it's kind of strange that, uh... My audios... All my audio games don't work properly. It's all great. Music loud. Hey, Aiden, how's it going? Welcome to the, uh... Welcome to the farm. Sorry about that. You know, let me stop the stream here for just a second, let me just say this. Hmm. I always wonder if there's something going on with my sound system. I mean, I've had my... Oh, hey, Mini-Me Lancey, how's it going? Welcome to the farm. I'm just trying to put uh, two, two together here. About why... About why my audio system is just so loud. Hmm. Well, well, I'll think of it'll come to me at a, some point. Just not right now. And thank you for the uh, follow, by the way.
So anyways, are you guys enjoying the stream thus far? Well, yeah, Stardew Valley is a very relaxed game. You know, it's very funny that these kind of games actually, uh... You know, it's always funny that some sim games are meant to be relaxing while others is like, Oh my god, I gotta get this done, I gotta get this done, I gotta get that done! Oh, there's our, uh, Lewis. Oh, hi there! Let's see what he has to say. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center. Or what's left of it, anyways. Wow. I guess the last mayor must have really let the place go to heck. I used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Or it, rather. Excuse me, not I. <laughs> now just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. That is very true. You know, let me stop here for a second. Let me just say this. Back when I was younger, um, we actually spent a lot more time outside doing things because we didn't have all this technology like smartphones, Netflix, Xbox Ones, PlayStation 4s, online gaming, all that. But nowadays, with the advancement of technology, it seems like more people are always on their mobile devices, chatting up with their friends, watching the latest episodes of a Netflix show. You know where I'm going with this. But yeah, this is just such a true statement. Unless that's how I feel. I mean, of course, that's just my opinion. You might say something different. But listen to me. I sound like an old fool. No, 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 no. You don't, he doesn't sound like an old fool at all. He brings up a valid point. Jojo Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to the relics of the past. Ah, oh, well. Eh, that's very true, actually. I mean, in my opinion, the way I look at it, it's priceless. I mean, I would do my best to try to turn it into a national landmark or something, so that way at least, when people could, at least when people come and go, at least they could take a look at it and be like, Oh, wow! That is just so awesome! And they can have a little something right next to it saying, Oh, so this is what it is, or was, rather. If anyone else buys a Georgia Corporation me membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Lois? Do you do do you do voices for all the characters in this game? Because I hope you do. <laughs> well, I'm very flattered that uh, <laughs> you say that. But, you know what? You know what? You talked me into it. I will do it for this game. <laughs> I am very flattered that you said that. Anyways, but before I continue on, I'm gonna say this: that Lewis, if I'm gonna, if he's gonna sell this, he's an idiot. You know, I mean, if I was in his shoes, I would not sell this. I would do my best to do whatever I can to preserve it because it's historical. It has value, and there are some things in life that money cannot buy. Period. Anyways. <sighs> Here, let's go inside. You know, what you said about doing the voices for the characters in this game, I got a little confession to make. I would love to get into the voice acting business. I'm not kidding. I would love to get into the entertainment industry as well. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Joss must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. What? Oh, he's gonna pull a great kazoo. You dum-dum. What's the matter? Are you ill? You saw something. Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. Yeah, that's a nice looking rat right there. Oh, now he's gone. 
Dum dum. You're worrying me, Kenjamin. Do not ask how I. Time to practice voices. <clears throat> Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. Wow, Lewis. I can understand that uh, this weighs heavily on your mind, but. Seriously? You're just gonna go home and head for lunch? Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Oh, you mean a rat that just comes to go at his own well? A la the Great Kazoo? You dumb dumb. By the way, the Great Kazoo is a Flintstones reference. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Hmm. You know... I am gonna actually take a look around. This place got my attention. Hmm. Fireplace. Looks like an old aquarium, an old bolting board. Boiler room. Yeah, nice gigantic uh, safe. storage room of some kind. Oh! What the? What's this have to say? A rat problem. I like it how it's in quotes like, rat problem. There's something odd going on in the community center. Investigate the community center. And it looks like some sort of a... Looks like a lounge. But this glowing tile right here. Hmm. Okay, it looks like it's an alien voice. Um, hmm. Can't understand what it's saying. Anyways, let's see if there's anything else I should be aware of. And that one was yellow. The one that the uh, that Lewis was showing me was green. Hmm. 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 Maybe there's not so much a rat problem on the inside, but maybe there might be a rat problem on the outside. <clears throat> hmm. Let's have a look around. I don't know why I keep bringing my pickaxe down. Oh, maybe that's how I'll catch these rats before they, uh, disappear. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Although that would be pretty funny, I gotta admit. Oh, come... Oh. Okay, I think it makes a little bit more sense now. Can't approach them too, qu too quickly. Let me try one more time. little wait that's interesting hmm huh man he's and that little rat is per persistent little bugger isn't he Anyways, I think, I think by this point you get the message. Alright, Malqua, um, thanks for stopping by. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day.
year. Huh. Let's double check and make sure. What do we have here? Well, it's a bin full of writhing, wriggling worms. It smells something awful. What, do you expect worms to smell like, uh, candy canes? I don't know, I wouldn't. Alright, I think this is where I'm going to stop for now. Alright, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.